Honorable member for Sturgeon River Parkland. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. N95 masks, endotracheal tubes, dressing trays, face shields, and catheters. What do these things have in common? They're all critical in our fight to save Canadian lives from COVID-19. But they're also single-use plastics that are going to be labeled as toxic under Schedule 1 of the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. Canadians are shocked to see how ill-equipped we are to manufacture needed medical supplies. Instead, we rely on the Chinese, Americans, and European suppliers to meet our demands. This puts Canadian lives at risk, and it's time to promote plastics manufacturing in Canada. Would the government agree that banning single-use plastics, including medical equipment, and declaring plastic to be toxic is not a good idea? The Honourable Minister of Industry, Science and Innovation. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank my honourable colleague for his question, and he's highlighted the importance of our efforts of mobilizing industry to look at Made in Canada solutions. And I'd like to just highlight and underscore some of the, uh, uh, the efforts we have made in terms of securing important personal protective equipment. We have sourced more than 230 million surgical masks and over 17 million have already been delivered. We have roughly 75 million N95 masks on order. And in the coming days, we expect to have over 2 million more masks in Canada's possession. And we received nearly 10 million pairs of medical gloves. So we've taken appropriate steps to make sure that we protect frontline healthcare workers, Mr. Speaker. We're going to just pause.